Talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the hardest blogger in the world. Trill talk no pill. Talk. The hardest block in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. Oh, <laughs> we got one of these uh, these guys now, y'all. I don't know how they do this show. I watch this show, man. I, I'm like somebody gonna get over there sometime. It's gang members over there sometime. And I be trying to figure out like how they do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Flacco is in the building. What's up, baby? Yes, sir, man. Man, bro. How y'all feeling, man? Listen, I want to say this. Thank you for coming on our show, bro. Listen, I want to say this, man. There's very few black folks that are in this space who are really doing it. Yeah. Now, I ain't know what to expect in terms of the production value. But when I walk in, I, I say, yo, this man doing it. Bro. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, man. Both nah, talking. this man eating, bro. You feel me, man? Nah, yeah. listen, you is, listen, you eating, bro. You look, bro <laughs> I came with, with like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> six, like AK cameras, man. A whole store got the setup going on, man. Professional, man. Listen, bro, the couch looking wolfy, man. You feel me? <laughs> no, man. man, we watch you all the time, and you do great interviews, man. Man, listen, though, but. I stopped doing interviews for a while, bruh. I, I can't talk to no rappy rap no more, man. You, feel you me? know, hey, man, a lot of people saying that. Why? Tell me why you don't really like, like, the, what's up with the rap? Uh, So, like, this is an interview that academics did, right? Okay. Where Young Nudie, who's from the South as well, yeah, and, 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 and like, Baby Drill, right? So, these two niggas forgot how to talk when they were talking to, like, academics, right? Looking like they, they didn't want to be there. Bro, this is academics. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is... The most profound, um, like he's like a trailblazer for this entire no, space, no, no, right? Everybody yeah. eyes is on this interview. That's academics. Yeah. And these guys are acting like they don't want to be there, right? Which is, I listen, probably it's just their personality, right? But he's big lip, wide nose, went to bootleg cab, the white man. And, bro, and when I tell you, bro, I ain't never seen Baby Joe smile that hard. Teeth is up here. She ain't seen Talking like a mother. Right, explaining, talking with, with with proper. I'm talking about proper vernacular. I said, hold up now, bro. So like with the y'all don't respect it. Yeah. Again, again, like this is not just me. No, no, this no, is happening a lot. I, this I, is, I, I know. Academ again, it's not just Flacco. This is yeah. academic. Like he's like the bar for this black media. Yeah. And y'all went on his shit and disrespected his shit. Then went on bootleg Kevin. You just is smiling, why having they, a good old time. Why cool. they saying they didn't want to talk to Egg though? We don't know. Right, but like, listen, Russell. So look, if I was act, bro, the first question I would have asked is, man, bro, who love Marlo, man? Right, Damn. but I kept it cordial. I, look, bro, and like, and I conducted a fair, like, just a real softball interview, right? Yeah. Mind you, this was a week after these niggas got a Rico for they set. So yeah. if I was academics, I would have pressed it. Yeah, right? that's everything. Yeah. Bro, I would have said, so like, and after Lil Marlo died, like, and you posted a GTA clip. Of you hunting a down, right? Yeah. Asking who running while Lil Marlo's song is playing in the background. What that mean, right? But academics kept the cool, ain't asked no op questions. Yeah. And and these still disrespected him. Ain't said somewhere, but it went to the white man platform and was cheesing up like a mug. Right? So after I seen that, bro, I said, listen up, bro. Yeah. At some point, we not on the same page as these rappers, right? Yeah. And bro, I'll be real, bro. I don't like too many rappers. Yeah, I like, I just like, I think rappers be, they, they, it's like they, they don't even want to talk to us. No. Like, they don't be want to talk when they go to the interviews. It's like, they be, everybody try to be too hard. Like, I be want to be like, let's just sit back and chill and chop it up mm -hmm. like that. But instead of that, they be kind of be kind of like, you know, kind of standoffish. Like, you ask them certain questions, they don't want to talk about it. Like, after five questions, I didn't ask you why, I'm going to keep on asking you questions. No, but keep it consistent. Meaning, if these rappers. If you're going to do it on one show, do it on our show. Or like, just don't do them at all. It's listen, it's strictly race based, meaning right, meaning this, right, bro, right, meaning this. These niggas will act as if they forgot how to talk with academics, but yeah. then go on Vlad TV and, and start telling it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, come on, bro. These niggas are talkative, these niggas are yapping, these niggas are smiling, they bought off cheesing. Yeah. Why is Vlad platform, Bullet Calf, Calf, um, you know, like in their platform, why is their shit better than our? But I said that I said that a long time ago, didn't I? Yeah, that's I said something that we long time we've ago. tried to figure that question out ever since we started doing yeah, podcasting, like, bro. It's crazy, but it's like a it's a it's a uncle Tom type thing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you because every time I look up, and it's certain people that'll go to others that won't come to you, and it'd be like, what is that all about? When 
you you know I'm gonna show you this mad love over here, yeah. and they'll just it ain't just happening with no, with your show. Mm -hmm. I know you got no jumbo. Why don't you use Adam? To, he a white guy. Why don't you mm -hmm. use him to uh, uh, bring him in? Do they, do they interview better with Adam? Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> oh man! Listen up, bro. These bro, these butter biscuit eating. When I talk to Adam, bro, these is, is, is laughing. Best friends. Yeah. She can keep slapping it up, that, hugging Adam. I said, bro. These coons, man. Listen That's up. It. Listen up. But like, gangsta rap itself is some coon sh I Imagine, right? There's a genre of music mm -hmm. where is saying, this is go slide music. This is go on a drill music. These is making music to convince and brainwash to, to go, go yeah. niggas. Yeah. So, so, that within itself is some coon So, like, can I be shocked that the agents of the coon shit are actually coons when it comes to media interviews? Yeah. I'm not shocked, bro. So, which is why I said, bro, I ain't talking to this rap. I don't like this rap because I'm giving this rap as hell now. Yeah. What do you think about now? We just seen we seen Cat Williams shut the internet down in one day. Sure, he shut that down. Like yeah. you ain't seen. Who else have you seen with that impact of a of an interview coming in like that and just take control of the internet like like Cat did the other day? I'll be real. Let's be real. Another cool too, Charleston White. You oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I can't do it. You feel me? <laughs> that that was big. I, but I asked people, was it big as. No, hell nah. But it 20 million views. It was, nah, it was. It yeah, 20 million in three days. It, it, in two in days. days. Yeah, yeah, in two right. days. Yeah. Now, like, it's up now. It's, right, like, it, it's past 20 million. That's now. right. That's right. You ain't so seen that. You ain't really seen it. But that, the only one else you seen was Charleston White. What yeah. did you think when you seen him take that L uh, at that barbershop? I had Trey on there too. Oh, uh, hey, right. So listen. So once I was, so one right, and I was happy, right. And here's why, right. And here's why I'm happy that old raggedy that that nappy got what he deserved, right. And here's why. Now I would be on board with like Charleston White, right. If I knew he wasn't a character, meaning this is going around pretending like he's one of us, pretending like he's a civilian, pretending like he really tell on big bro. I really rattle. Yeah. I really get rappers in jail. Look, look, bro, 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 I'm not lying to you. So you get rappers locked up, man. Watch this, big bro. Hey, what that say? Let me see. August seven. Yeah, it says Frederick. This is De Deputy Wallace, uh, Detective Wallace, with the Lexington Police. I have received your report, but. I want you to reach out to the FBI agent Holiday and, and gave his number. If you have any questions, you are welcome to text and call me at this. What did this do that you told it on? Him? Who the hell was yeah. this? Hey. Who the hell you told it on? But Who I'm gonna tell you, big bro. What but happened? But how, but how, but. I'm gonna tell you, big bro. And five months later, it punched me death and got arrested for 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 that gun case. But I'm saying, what what make you like? Oh, I'm gonna tell you. So first off, it, it takes nothing for me to ride on the rap, right? For, listen, first off, just the inner hate in, in me seeing a rapping rap up millions, rapping about killing my people, lock that up, f him. But Punch Me Death can't with me, right? Listen, right, so look, I made a video saying, yo, he's not a real scammer, bro. Like, this like, doing some elementary, rudimentary shit. He ain't no fucking scammer, right? This is a fraud. So this saw my video and, and, and like, and thought that he could like DM me, threatening me. Oh, I said, oh, bad, oh, bad. Oh, amazing. You DM me talking about you about to dox me and my family? Bad, hop on that phone and talk to them folks. And they said, oh, oh, Devin, right? Oh, yeah. Damn. His man's died last year, and we're investigating him for that death as well. How do you guys end up getting into it? Like, I made a video at, about him lying about scamming, right? 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 So look, yeah, you said that, yeah, right? I, I probably. So look, so his whole thing is, I'm a big time scammer. I can teach you how to scam. Pay me, right? But he's not doing no bank frauds, and his scam is this: this convinced 12 and 13 year olds to give him $200 for a preloaded cash app that has $10,000 in it, right? And these 16 and 15 year olds who like his music is paying this the $200. For these quote unquote cash up accounts, they think got got like 10K in it when 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 in fact it's a scam, right? And they pay him and then he blocked his own fans, right? So I made a video on that. And this yeah. again, most rap niggas, right? 
they they try to intimidate and play those games with the blogging niggas that's black, right? Mind you, Punch Made Dev don't got the gall to to uh, DM DJ Vlad and threaten Vlad. Punch Made Dev would never DM Adam Twenty Two and threaten Adam Twenty Two. These niggas don't got the balls to do it, bro. Yeah. I did when he rap to go to war with the good white man. You, you don't got the balls to do it, right? So he DM me, trying like trying to intimidate me, right? Yeah. But bro, he don't know. I don't play fair, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I got the biggest gang on my side. Now I want nigga, you niggas can't with me. So when he did that, I called the police and they say, yo, yo, like, we already have an active investigation. Like, this is be beyond us. Call the FBI agent, talk to them. So wow. you so so you don't be you don't be worried about nobody doing none of you if you if you telling on uh, telling on nobody then? Listen, and here's why, right? Listen, the average street and here's what I mean, right? The average street nigga don't give a f and will kill another black man in a heartbeat, right? I think the new street niggas do, the old street niggas yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, listen, listen, hey, hey, from my perspective, right? Yeah. The most street niggas that I know, are, and here's what I mean by that, right, big bro? Is these niggas will go to war and crash out in a heartbeat with another street nigga. You know why? Because they know, listen, I don't respect you as a black man. I have no level of humanity in my heart for you as a black man, right? But they also know there's no consequences. You know why? Because the other street have been brainwashed to think that no snitching is a thing. They've been brainwashed to think they're thorough, they're good people for not writing. So a street nigga will kill another street nigga in the heart because they know he's not gonna tell, right? So when they come with me, they know, listen, <laughs> you come with Flacco, you with the white man too. And listen, there's, there's one thing on earth that instill fear and terror into a street nigga, and as a white man in a black suit. Boy, that's real. I'm telling man, you, man. I didn't see it happen. They, they, yeah. uh, we'll kill each other in a minute. Man, but let me ask you this, man. You caught a fade uh, outside. I seen you about three, two or three months. Was that real or fake, bro? Who? You was out there for the squabble with some nigga Lush on the one? block. Wait, like where the like? It, it, it was at like a shopping center like mine, but it was a little corner there. Oh, oh no, that was fake. That I see you. I can't stand the internet, bro. So you ain't had nobody try to check you or nothing like that? Listen, bro. These niggas that y'all consider tough are scary niggas. You know why, bro? Listen, bro. I, like, I don't consider you tough because you know how to kill another black man. I consider you tough if you can sit in front of the white man and, and like in a black suit and not blink an eye, not sweat. Right? So these niggas know that Flacco... I got the white man in black suits on my side. Now when one is on my side, the white man is on my side. I will get you whole ass locked up in a heartbeat. So them niggas don't have to fuck with me, bro. You know why? These niggas is terrified of white men, bro. So hence, I'm not playing, listen, like I'm not playing the same stupid street games as these niggas, bro. I'm not dumb enough to think that I'm a real or or I'm, you know, I'm a tough or I'm morally like intact by not telling. You commit a crime, nigga, you gonna get locked up. Let me ask you this. I gotta ask you this. You mentioned academics earlier. You That's your boy. I know y'all cool. Yes. But how cool are y'all? Because you talked about this man's, uh, this man Johnson. Listen, man. You talked about, oh, okay, let him switch out. Yeah. You talking about this nigga Johnson, bro. What the hell was that about, bro? Real y'all uh, 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 What the hell was that? So first off, right? I have a question for you. Go ahead. Do you know a Jamaican with a small dick? I don't know no Jamaican dick size, period. I don't know their size, period. I don't, I don't look at no other man. Nah, man, man, that's cap. Man, nah, come on, nah, I don't look at no other man. Do how, do you, how do you find out a Jamaican size of his pecker? Yeah. Name a country that white women flock to to get f***ed and bust down more than Jamaica. Africa? Hell nah, <laughs> man. Africa. Listen. You Jamaican? No, hell nah. I'm African. But listen, no, listen, so you know about the Africans. You <laughs> listen though, these big, swole, lanky, skinny niggas with 12 inch pipe got a male brothel in Jamaica. Meaning, there's a male brothel where there is niggas with 12 inch in a house just f white women all day, nigga. Right? So I'm saying, if them niggas is known for having 12 inch, they're known for being real men and slinky all around. You mean to tell me that you sent a picture of that man? On soft to some other niggas. Why you ain't send it in on hard? I'm trying to understand why you even having this conversation, conversation. my yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, that is not a conversation that a nigga you yeah, to yeah, have. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm saying, Flacco. We the stiff niggas ain't talking. I'm talking about coach, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah, about okay, a yeah. woman. Yeah. Not, not as cap. I'm not, I'm not to be talking not about no nigga. No, nigga. I ain't never had a conversation no, about that. No, not no Texas nigga. This is nigga. first for me right here. <laughs> what I'm first saying? Uh, I'm that, that, that LA stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. It's real. I, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know where my partner's out there in LA. You got to be. Where you say you from? Again, North Dakota. So how you link with them in LA anyway? No, no, I rock with them LA niggas, but the North Dakota niggas talking like that? Listen, look, before that, the question for you guys, right? Do you watch porn? Not really. Not, not, not really. since I grew up. Come on, man. This is too real for me, man. <laughs> not since I grew up. Oh, not nah, since man. I grew up. Okay, since wait, since I, I was watching porn, it'll be Perfect. women. It wouldn't be no niggas. Man, I can promise, promise you that. that. Hell nah, I man. I promise you. You saying like, I'm like when I was growing up, I watched porn. But like, for, well, far as I, when I started fucking, fucking, I wasn't watching no porn. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, so you telling me, right, that when you watch porn, again, when oh, yeah, you watch you can porn, see right? when you watch it, yeah. Cool, right? Listen, you see the long, but two is this, right? <laughs> but two, you not only see it, but bro, you go search it, like, right? You say BBC Pog, big black. White bitch. No, 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 Yes, of course. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to look for. I'm going to search. I'm going to search <laughs> for the type Blanco, of woman I'm looking Blanco, for. When I seen that mm-hmm. on the internet, I said, man, what the hell is... Somebody sent me that when you mm-hmm. had talked about academics peace. I yes. said, man, bro, what y'all this is? Uh, all right, so look, big bro, right, so look. Uh, okay, look. So you mean to tell me that... You're not going to convince me to tell you <laughs> that I'm out here looking at niggas. No, 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 no. Parts. No, 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 right? No, look. So look, if you click on a video... And you see a three inch dick fucking a big booty Brazilian. Are you telling me that you go and still watch that video? No, I'm not watching that. Huh? I'm not. I'm not. Just man, 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 Sure, look, so I was seeing that there was was a coordinated attack and on his man, right? They they was lying and on his man right and left. But what I wouldn't do now is now they're trying to emasculate him by saying his d- was small. They were saying that 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 like his chick sent a soft d- pic all around the industry and people were saying this man did d- soft. And I'm like, hold up now, bro. D- this man did. D- it's more now, bro. Why you didn't come to his defense when he, when Salsa Santana was going in? You know? Listen. Why you ain't say nothing then? Wait, 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 listen. First off, <laughs> first off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you ain't say nothing then? I ain't seen no videos first about off, that. Listen, first off, I ain't beefing with no nigga who find me attractive. I ain't wrestling, <laughs> I ain't fighting, I ain't hugging with no nigga. But how you know what I'm talking about? Man, come on, man. Look at me, man. <laughs> man, come on, man, man, man. Listen, listen up, bro. Listen, man, listen. I'm big boned. The host caught me thick. Man, come on, bro. If I wrestle with Saucy Santana, bro, this nigga's trying to fill up. Nah, hell no. Nah. I want to smoke that nigga, man. He got bro, it. why you didn't speak on that. He said he was going to knock Eck out, and, and that's what he was going to do to him. And that's wrong. <laughs> Look, he got quiet. You man, see, right? I seen him real hype. Nah, and then all of a sudden, when that, when that conversation came yeah, up. That's what he said. He, he, said, he, was gonna, he said he was going to whoop him, and he was going to. After he, after yeah, he whooped, so, that's what he said. Yeah, man, on, man, how is the energy up there? Like, you guys, y'all interview a lot of people. I seen y'all interviewed Half Pint from Texas, uh, yeah. Dallas. I seen y'all interview Rainwater. Yeah. Um, like, you work with uh, Wag 100. I've seen you and him go Mr. back Jack and forth. Yeah. Like, you and him, how do y'all make this thing work at No Jumper, man? It's no, always man. exciting to see you guys work. And shout yeah. out shout out to uh, 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 Adam22. Yes, sir. I seen he stood all y'all. A lot of people, even Crip Mac was standing behind his old lady. They took a pic. What was that? Is he doing this for 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 clicks and views, or is niggas no. running running down through there on him? No man, no, no, right, no. I asked you about thirty yeah, questions. Yeah, 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 right. So look, so one in terms of the environment, right? Like people like like say yo, like this like this looks dangerous from afar, but bro, there's like four, you know, like there's four security guards. I'm talking about six foot seven, six foot eight, 
big Neanderthal looking niggas with, with pipes on them, right? Ain't nothing going on at, at No Jumper, right? So that's one. Two is this, right? Now, now listen, in, in terms of like the, um, you know, like the reality TV show, right? That was actually real. So um, the person like they picked was this guy called Lil D. Okay. But don't get it fooled. His name is Lil D, but nigga got a pipe on him. Here we go again. See, see, you need to stop this, bro. bro. You need to stop this, bro. bro. I'm honest, bro. You need to stop this. Well, how you, you seeing him, that? though? I, like, and he's he, famous. He ain't a porn star, though. No, 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 no. Yes, he is. Bro, he's a famous porn star. Ah, okay, okay. Bro, yeah. you, are you bisexual? Hell nah. Straight but why do you keep talking about the niggas' pipes every time we bring it up? <laughs> no. No, listen, right? And, and his name is Lil D. And he won the right to have a threesome with Adam and Lena. So I'm just making people know, don't get it confused. His his, his name is Lil D, but that little nigga working, man. So is he f***ing Adam 22? The question that everybody wants, is he yeah, f***ing Adam 22 pretty much. and his wife, or is he Oh, no, 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 hell no, listen. I'm gonna be honest, I think Adam 22 Just guys. the wife. He, he f Nah, bro. He, listen, he, listen, he, he tried to f*** uh, Sydney Star. Hell nah, he man. He said it before he ended the show. He told him, let's go in the back and let's do something in the office. That's what he said. Hey, Hey, listen, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, man. If that's true, if that's true, that that is absolutely true. I'm for the short to you. I'm, I ain't just going. I'm for the short. Play, play, play real quick, man. Play, play real quick, man. I'm for sure. I'm for the show you that. I'm for the show you that. Right I, now. Listen, I don't believe that good white man did that, man. I don't believe it, bro. That good white man ain't never right gonna now. ask no. You love, you love Adam. Cause Adam give you opportunity, right? I love all good white men, man. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. You gotta, you don't, you gotta. Hey, I hate this. Oh damn. So, hey, hey, but one thing about it, you you've always been one of the guys that 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 you you come through and holler and talk and mess with the guests. I think that keeps it. How hard was it? Was you there with uh, AD when he was there? You yeah, were, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. when he left and when that whole situation happened, yeah. how? And I know y'all done squashed the beef. Now I think I heard Adam say he was done with it yeah, as well. Yeah. Like, how hard was it to rebalance and restructure man. and get everything? Lush left. All those people yeah. left. Like, how hard was it? Listen, man. When AD left. Uh, to, to like me personally, like that was like the biggest blow, right? And here, cause AD was like, we call him Batman in fun, but he's truly Batman, right? AD was right by my side when some dusty nap tried to spit on me and I pack me it. out, man. I seen hey, it, right? Listen, so, right? So like AD has been the one who sort of like has diffused and kept things level headed for a while. Now, they departed and they split up due to Judas, right, right? Uh, due to a Brutus, right, meaning this, right? You talking about Lush? Listen, Adam is Julius Caesar, right? And AD is one of the noblemen. And Adam entrusted Brutus with, 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 with uh, some like information that he shouldn't have, right? And Brutus went to a public discord and told some fans who don't really don't with him like that, right? But again, though, like, is is it's like these like fans are so crafty, right? Is they'll make you feel comfortable. They'll have you thinking, yo, we fuck with you. You are our fucking favorites, right? Just to get information and use it against you, right? So Lush told the fans information and told them, don't tell nobody. Man, bro, before Lush could hang up that call, fans was on the phone, phone like telling AD, yo, Lush is sad, this, right? So like, I, 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 Wait, oh, you got it now. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah. Now nah, we can go and get finish okay. what you said. I got, I got yeah, that. Yeah, right, no, right. So, right. So, like, I, I blame Lush, and I still don't think, bro, that ads and and like Adams' issue is that deep to where like they don't never gotta speak again, right? Nah, bro. Right, like again, it's a back and forth words being exchanged, right? But I truly feel, bro. Again, I may be wrong, right? And I haven't talked to AD or Adam about this yet, but I truly feel, bro that I can see AD coming back and at least doing, you know, like just like one interview. But right? why does, why, why and, and could you, if you can see that, then you can see Adam 22 going over the community. Of course. The big community yeah, setting of course, up. Of course. That's the only way that goes down because it gotta be equal, man. Of like course. that's the whole game. Like that's our biggest problem. Like uh, you know that these guys and yourself are gonna grow when you put them on your platform. Absolutely. We have uh, different people that be on our platform. Yeah. People grow and people go. Yeah. You, you should, We've been here 18 years. I, mm -hmm. You know how I many employees I've had here, and I've seen them grow. Some of them work for different companies. One of my cameramen worked for the Lamborghini company now. Now he's in Japan. I just talked to him the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. and he's killing it. He did that video with uh, uh, 
Kodak Black and 6 9 when they had oh, that yeah, video. Yeah, he the one shot that. Like, my little dude, he, but I'm yeah. the first person they ever shot. But okay. I, I got some dope dudes that I see them flourish and go on. That's and course. that's a part of it, man. But so you to see you guys like, get your own brand, mm -hmm. I think that should be Adam's aim and goal. Yeah, it's like he's a slave, man. He's just cracking whip on y'all over there, man. Nah, hell nah, right? <laughs> nah, hell, listen, <laughs> man. Crazy. Yeah, he crazy. That's a good white man right there, bro. He didn't hit him with the whip so many times that he think he's just a good white man. He's a good white man. White boy, right there, man. Listen, now, nah, listen, Russell. Now, nah, Russell, look, now, nah, look. So, I think in all parties even said like, and he encouraged us to start our brands. He encouraged us to do it, right? Yeah. Um. So I, I don't like to think that he was ever like hating. Now, like, was he a tad bit like concerned? Like, hold up, bro. Like, damn, bro. Like, I got it. and all the new guys and on contract. So like, if they blow up, right? Like, yeah. we have like some agreement in, in place, but y'all blew up before we could really like get the contract really like locked in, right? So like, maybe he was like concerned, but I don't think he was really like hating or mad, right? Like, cause he actually like told him, "Yo, start this platform and encouraged it," right? But how they split up though was. I think like the podcast dynamic and Adam felt was not working. And he told Lush some things, you know, you know, and in secret, right? That was never meant to be heard by nobody. Now is Lush a white guy too? Yes. So that's what makes so, it even so, worse. So, so. No, 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 no. That would make it even worse if it comes back and it's like, but Lush, are you giving Lush a bad rap for going back saying something about it because he said it in confidence? No, 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 so look, right? No, look, right? So look. So if Lush would have called AD and said, yo, AD, bro, bro, like, yo, do, 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 that would be different than talking to fans, gossiping, trying to brag about how your position is more secure than his position. And then the fans, like, call AD and say, yo, bro, like, Lush just said this about yeah, you, right? Yeah. That's a little different path, right? Right? Again, and if Lush would have called AD, real nigga. You feel me? Real nigga. But he called the fans first to brag about how he's more in favor than AD was. You feel me? And to me, that's some whole shit. You know. All right, so all right. how much he pay y'all? Oh, getting into lot, I man. seen it. I seen yeah, it. Yeah, on the the black, black, AD, AD, AD put it out so, there. So what he paying? What he paying? It was. I think it was like it. It, it wasn't. It. Was, it was a little compared to what he probably put. he had to upgrade that once. So, once so you don't, 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 don't think AD listen, you don't think Adam Twenty Two be cool, having y'all cooling over? Listen, you don't think how, well, cool, wait, <laughs> how we be cool? How we be cool? Well, no. Have y'all talking about? Bring you bring bring talking bring about? Bring yeah. Okay, Sorry. you talking about? You said you snitch on black people. Yes. You snitch on rappers. They blacks. Yes. That's cool in it. Hell nah. You getting rid of black people? Hell nah. Listen, and here's why. Why right? I mean, that's the opposite of cooning. So, in our neighborhoods, right? Yeah. 10% are criminals, 90% are civilians. But somehow, we've been brainwashed to think that 10% got more power than they do. Meaning, if 90% of the hood stood up and say, man, bruh, you raggedy niggas doing crime, get the fuck out, nigga. History fiction paper, leave. We could get them out. But we've been brainwashed to think that, yo, these niggas can somehow control us, right? So, me saying, yo, I'm ready to tell, I'm ready to snitch, I'm ready to get these rapidly, these rapidly rap street niggas off the fucking streets, right? Why? If, if these 10% are destroying our communities, or making it crime infested, these niggas are so fucking foul, bro. They make it impossible for our, our fucking kids to play at the fucking park, bro. So you don't think Adam 22 kind of ruined it too? With his, he, got, he got a bunch of gangsters on there. How? He got gangsters on there all the time. Yeah, what? What's the dude sick? The six pack dude. What's his name? Uh, the, it's a bunch of well, everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody that comes do that. Gang bangers. Whoa, 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 wait, though, right? So the question, right? So look. So how is Adam interviewing street niggas the same as street niggas going back to our our hoods and destroying it and making it filth? Because he put them on the platform. And how do you deal and with them? Hold up. If they come over there and they in the crime life and you over there and they doing that, you snitching on them is what you tell them. Y'all set a trap. Uh, That's in trap. Who, me? Yeah, like if you see one come over there, you like, this nigga right here, one of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's in trap. Nah, That's what you That's doing. That's in trap, man, though. You like That's this it. thing, oh, oh, Adam got him over here. Now, nah, I'm going I'm to I'm tell it on that nigga. N no, if anybody what? came on that show and you told it on them after no. they left? No, right, no. But listen, no. But though, but if you a street nigga, and you come fucking with me, 
I'm gonna get you locked up. But you on Adam 22, if somebody don't come on through there that already been rocking on, and and Adam Adam know, they don't know that, they don't know you, they don't know, but well, they might not know you there. But I'm just saying, if yeah. a nigga come through that show and you don't like that nigga cause he in the hood doing stuff you don't like and you snitching on this nigga. Listen though, right? What is that called? So you smoke weed? No. He don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. Nah, man. Nothing he doing this shit on a clear nah, mind, man. nigga. Nah, man, nah, listen to, listen to, but listen to, right? But also too is this, right? So, Adam interviewing dudes because they are rappers, they're podcasters who just happen to be street niggas and, and, and like gang members is is a lot different than Adam saying, saying, look, here is paper, go sell drugs in, in your hood. Here is money, go shoot up the ops. Here is money, go make the parts and safe for the kids. Here is money, make grandmama in fear of her life to walk down the block. But, but niggas ain't doing that either though. Huh? Street niggas ain't giving no niggas no money telling them to go do that shit. Wait, no, right? No, yeah. no. But though, no, but they're doing it voluntarily. How can you be on but you, but you can't blame can, the street? Uh -uh. How can you be on Adam 22's show, but you don't like Vlad TV? Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, listen. Do you like Vlad? Me. DJ Vlad. Me and that good white man and had a talk. And we squashed it and exchanged apologies. And now, yeah, I love Vlad now. Oh, so y'all, y'all, y'all cleaned yeah. it up. Yeah. Is that what you been on Vlad's show yet? No, not yet. So you trying to get on there? You campaigning? I'll be real. <laughs> Listen, if Vlad invited me, of course I would go. But like, am I, I like campaigning and trying to? Nah, right? Nah, right? Feel me? Right? Again, like I fuck with people who fuck with me, right? So like. If Vlasi my value and say, hey, bro, you feel me? You're like, you be, you know, popping your shit and talking your shit, come on? Of course. Flacco, let me ask you something. What's, What's your end game, man? Like, do you really, like, like we, of course, we don't have the million subscribers. We have sure. to start somewhere. Of course. You know, is your end game to have your own platform or are you going to work money. for for no jumper and and just kind of push their agenda or is your and, and this might be something you you can't answer I don't know but sure or you if y'all that close you you should be able to answer it though like do you see yourself having your own platform one day or are you just gonna be rocking out over there because I I really look at that that's one of the things I I key yeah. in on yeah right. of people because if you was trying to run an agenda you yeah. definitely could do it on your own yeah right so look right not look so. I told Adam this too, right? Where like, I, I, I said, yo, like blogging is cool, right? But me personally, I'm 25 right now, right? I don't see myself at 30 years old, waking up, logging into YouTube, and, and making videos. It'd be a different world. About these rapidly rap street niggas, right? So, right, so like, so, right, so like, so, so like, me personally, bro, the next like five years, I'm trying to run it up as much as possible. I sell my entire business. I start up a farm and raise my kids and just live happily ever after away from this fucking spotlight. I mean, right? Okay. Right? So, right? So, like, the goal is, bro, like, it's never to be famous. You feel know I me? Mean? It's to get rich. <laughs> it's to be rich, my nigga, right? Yeah, see, because yeah. I, heard, I heard some shit. I heard some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I, heard that, I heard some shit that you said for 20 million, you'll suck. For twenty million, I said I'm gonna answer the question off camera. Oh, <laughs> nigga, what? I, I, well, answer them question on camera. Hey, right hey, now. I, hey, what? Now listen, I'm for answering off million. camera. Answer it right now, though. Hell no, nah, camera. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Oh <laughs> man. Wow, man, Hell you nah. crazy, bro. Oh, what? You, hey. hey, you gonna keep that show going up there. Adam got him a real one with you, boy. Whatever, hey, listen, you going man. with whatever the flow is. I think Adam now, what was, like that? What was that? You found the video footage? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was What's going on? Adam what, what? was with the Sydney Star, man. He says, he, he told yeah. him. Okay, he's so, smelling his knee after yeah. he got off of him. Bro, what y'all got going up there, man? Yeah. Man, listen, man. It's, it's a whole lot of content. Okay. Caucasian men. I was driving, I 
Oh, she's so they getting, they getting up, real man. intimate. They're getting real intimate on her. How long is this? That's pretty long. You might not yeah, want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to. Now, I don't want to. Adam, he know what I'm talking about. Where Adam said he's going to go so in the listen, back of the office. He's going to do a scene. Listen. I think y'all working for a punk. I'm going to just be real. I think y'all. Whoa. I think y'all. I called it straight up. I just called it out there. I think. So he, listen, right? You can be gay in the, in the world now. You can you can women and be gay. And wait, I, I didn't watch the question that, right? So you don't, think Adam, you don't think Adam 22 never sucked a dick? Oh, damn. No. He sucked. I don't know what I'm saying. You man, don't think come that. on, man. If, if, that man is famous. Listen, that, listen, that is famous in the mouth. Now, I understand right? that, but I'm saying he a porn star. Sure, right? But, right, but, right, hey, right, but look at this, right? But look, even Diddy, right? The male escorts died that, like, he was with, they came out and, like, exposed Diddy already, right? So you say, you say so, Diddy, you think Diddy really did it, but you think Adam. Yes, right? Diddy did why. Got a lot of right? coon right? in you. Now you're trying to down the white man. Before court. That's why, right? Right? And if Adam was sucking as famous as he is, man, man, come on, bro. These raggedy I'm gonna be honest, I mean, it wouldn't be a big deal. It wouldn't be a big deal with a white man. Listen, these raggedy love Cloud more than anybody else. But they wouldn't make it a big deal. They would expose him. No, they wouldn't make it a big deal with a white dude. Listen. It's 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 it's, it's mm -hmm. a proven fact. If a black dude came out gay, he sure. gonna get way more backlash than the white man is. White man ain't not even gonna though, say nothing about it. Listen, in hip hop though, like it's gonna be a big deal, bro. Listen, s -s listen, I gonna do a video on it. Me, bro, it's gonna be a huge deal if a come out with 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 proof and receipts on Adam. But because it hadn't happened yet, I'm saying, well, hold up now, bro. Like, listen, like, listen, bro. Like, we know for a fact. These punks is making up lies on straight niggas. Yeah. So, if Adam really did it, you telling me, bro, like these clout hungry punks ain't going like expose them in a heartbeat? Yeah. Of course they would. So, if nobody has come out yet and say, "Yo, I sucked Adam, I sucked my," then you know we can't really say he's gay yet. Yeah. So it's so just a freak ass yeah, white boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you freaky, man. Say that. Let me ask you this, man. Like, like you, you know. Um, Cat, we're gonna go back to that in that interview since it's really, really one that's really going through there right now. Yeah. Like he said that his deal was if on on Friday after next mm -hmm. that who if 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 he did another movie with Ricky Smiley, he would mm -hmm. have to be playing in a dress. Cool shit. Okay, but he say the next they did play him in a dress. Do you think that Does that was calculated shit? statement? Yeah. So do you, you against think Adam, you against Keek, uh Cat Williams or the other dude? No, no, look. So if you are, are like Cat Williams and you claim that you stand for something in the community, right? So you're telling me that you contributed and forced another black man hand to wear a dress to feed his family? Bro, you so cool. Nah, but he said in his, in his defense, he said he did that because that's what he did best. It don't matter though. He did best right? in, the, in the what's that? Listen. In the dress. Listen, right? So you can't talk that high power, black power shit. Then make the white man force a black man hand to wear a dress to feed his family, nigga. Use a coon. Wow. It's that simple. So you think he lying? No. Or do you think he lying about anything he said? Oh, hell shit. Listen, Russell, so look. Did he make stuff up as he went on that interview? Yes, listen. Listen, here's proof, right? Cal Williams started off the interview by saying, sis, do you know any nigga? This man said that he got accepted into college at seven years old. That he read 3,000 books from age 8 to 12. That he ran a 4.140 yard dash in his prime. And right now he can run a 4.340 yard dash. You mean to tell me that Cal Williams is faster than any NFL player to ever live? That Cal Williams is faster than Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt ran a 4.22. Cal Williams say he ran a 4.1640 yard dash. Yeah, I'm prime. saying them lies. I'm talking about, I mean, <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm man, I'm talking about when he man. start talking about the, all the shit that you can fact check. Like them stealing his jokes, all this shit. Listen, listen. I do think that fat, sloppy nigga called Cedric, called Cedric the fucking entertainer. He, he listen, and he stole them jokes. So yes. Now the other shit, like going to a Illuminati meeting with Luda, and they offering um, ten million dollars for twenty movies. I'm gonna be real, and here's why I think it's cap. Listen, bro. I don't care what your morals and integrity is, nigga. You, you put any black man in a room with them good white folks, and they offer you. Two hundred million dollars, nigga, to date a white woman and like cut your beard and work for our agenda, and you're not going, man. Listen, now, just bro. cut your beard and date a white woman. That ain't nothing major, though. Hey, listen, I don't think that Cat Williams have enough integrity to walk away from two hundred million for his cock funky crack smoking soul. I, listen, bro, he smoked crack on Manchester in L.A., and you telling you got me proof of it? yes, his drug dealers still exposed him already.
<laughs> right, right, right. So you telling me that this man who was smoking crack on Manchester is walking in a room with them good white folks offering two hundred million dollars to sell his soul, his crack smoking soul, and he ain't do it? Man, fuck out of here, bro. So he's still on drugs right now. Listen, I believe so. Man, yeah. come on, my nigga. But he talked. He, talk, so. he talked about phase on love too. He brought phase on up by four times in there. I seen it, maybe five. It was like yeah. it, it was. It was just because of their old, you know, the old stuff that they went through. Mm -hmm. But he said a lot of stuff. He he hit a lot of a lot of cylinders. He hit he hit Steve Harvey. He hit I, I who Steve, else he hit? Steve stole his joke. Steve did. I seen that. Kevin Steve Hart got Kevin Steve Hart. Was, he got a Kevin Hart too. That's hating though. And here's why that's hating though, right? Tiffany right? Tiffany Haddish. In facts. And he said that Kevin Hart is an, is an industry plan. Now, listen. Now, I don't think that somebody's, I guess, their rise and fall or their talent, right? I don't think that, like, for example, right? Like, the biggest argument against, like, an industry plan is folks will say, yo, we watched him grind. Yo, he's talented. Listen, most industry plans <laughs> grind and are talented, right? So, like, I don't think that that disqualifies fighting for the industry plan, right? But when he says that Kevin Hart is an industry plant, and, and, and here's why I say how. Because industry plants are protected by the covenant. Me and my nigga, like, if you are an industry plant, there ain't nothing no nigga can do to you to, to, to tear you down. They're going to protect you to the nth degree. But Kevin Hart has been engaged in scandal after scandal after scandal. But that's part of kind of like to pop it off. Not how that, 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 that all that right there is shock value. That's gonna pop it out for him. Yeah, but but it, he said a lot. Like like it was it, it shocked the world. Some of the people that he flipped he he flipped up over on a lot of niggas that didn't mm -hmm. see it coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yo, Ricky Smiley man. Ricky Smiley hurt. I think probably the most out of it. He cried the next day. He Trick cried. Daddy just, yeah, Daddy just Damn. Damn. yeah. It was real sentiment. You could hear it in his voice. You know he on the radio. You could hear it that man, it really man. choked him up. It choked what kind him of up. Man, sissy five nigga is that bro? Bro, it choked. Him up, so yeah. you telling me that you you so you the Charleston White thing when y'all was gonna set him up up there because you was up there then no you wasn't there no uh this was like two months before I before I got there so you heard about it when all the stuff was going on you don't I think that's whole shit uh according to AD and he was joking. But see, yeah. see, I, see, all them up there got a lot of shit going with Tex. I'm gonna tell you something else. Yeah. Uh oh, see, he done said up in his seat. See, a lot of that shit y'all be doing up there like this. Y'all brought, brought Rainwater up there. And it's like, it's like y'all had Rainwater right there with Wack. And Wack was just blatantly disrespecting Rainwater. So what? you didn't, you didn't appreciate all it? No, nah, all that shit. I said, when last time you been slapped all that shit? Ain't no way you talking to no nigga like that. No Texas nigga. Hell no. Nah, that, that shit is just What's that though? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, hold up now. And who thought is it that a uh, Texas nigga, again, that y'all consider gangster, went to no, LA? No, 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 first no, no, off, first off, first off, we didn't consider him gangster. We don't consider himself gangster. What I'm saying is, though, why, 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 why did he bring him up there to do that shit, though? Wait, though, but, wait, though, but who do you blame, though? I blame Adam because he ain't brought no real niggas up there. Mm. Wait, whoa, 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 so whoa, 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 ain't no real nigga? Huh, I'm just saying, he didn't treat that like that ain't no real nigga? I ain't say no, he ain't no street nigga. He didn't say it there. He ain't no rough, tough nigga like that. Like, if How? he bring a white nigga up there, I'm telling you right now, that shit won't happen. Wait, 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 you up there? It ain't gonna happen like that. It ain't gonna happen like that. Wait, 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 Okay, that don't mean that street nigga though. Hey my nigga, so you confused? Play street gangsters? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You, 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 you play got, some, you got some play gangsters up there. You bring some, you bring some real niggas up there. That ain't gonna happen. I'm telling you now. As far as being street and all that, you know, a lot of people don't went past. Let's go real quick though. So listen, Russell, look though. So score my nigga, right? That's my nigga. Facts, mine too. Now, right, right. So look, people, right, right, set, right, set, right. Like Flacco, I understand why you snitching. On them dolf niggas, right? But 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 they said, "Whoa, Skull, you a street nigga, Skull? Like, why you can't do this? You know, like the young dolf content." So right, right. So y'all feel like Skull was out of line for for like for covering like like he like, covering what's already in the media. That's all he doing. It's hell no, nah, man. It's a hell no. Nah, he didn't bring no new shit. Nah, he didn't bring no new yeah. shit. That, everything you said, nah, 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 that's, that's not true. Say that's not true. He had exclusive news. I don't believe I'm, that. I'm gonna be honest with you. He during that dolf. Situation with Skull Skull 
actually helped, scoop out that no, pocket, bro. He helped a lot of those people that were going through it during yeah. that time. That Makita cookies uh-huh. and all them. He helped yeah. a lot of them when they were going through their thing. Now, a lot of people say, I seen a lot of flack he got from dealing with that. But not only that, all of the stuff that go on, yeah. he always go and check and see what's going on with it and report on it. He say he don't break the news, he just breaks the <laughs> news down. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I fuck with Sko, that's my nigga, and I watch his content almost daily. That's yeah. it. But... If y'all consider him a real street nigga and Skull... I ain't say a street nigga. I say he a real nigga. Uh, okay, bet. And Skull, again, this wasn't no confirmed news. Again, this was just the internet rumors going around, right? Like, oh, yo, I seen the car at, at this house right here. They filmed this video there. And Skull gonna cover the internet rumblings and breaking the first, first, right, before anybody else. But somebody else had to say something for him to even talk about it. Wait though. They brought it up and he just discussed it. That's how he do it. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Question, right? So, if a murder happens, right? Yeah. And some fan niggas is talking about, yo, here is proof that this nigga killed him. Are you going to come over here and say, yo, here's the evidence that that... Nah, I ain't going to do that, nah. Wait, why not? I just ain't going to do that. I ain't ain't no street nigga, nah. I just ain't doing that. I ain't doing it. Wait, why not though? Nah. Hey, 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 listen up. Wait, 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 though. Trill talk, no pill talk, right? Ah, that ain't trill, right? That, 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 that ain't trill. That, that ain't trill. That's what I'm saying. That ain't trill. That go against what my name is. My whole, that go against my whole brain. Right. Wait, though. Right. But you are excusing Skull from doing it, though. Nah, because that's Skull show. That ain't my show. But, though, it was Skull did some real nigga shit. It's true talk, no pill talk, man. It's, it's, come on, bro. Nah, hey, 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 break politics now. Break he the news, he the now, news, bro. he the news, he the news. So, again, as a real nigga, if you have a new YouTube channel and some fans is throwing out theories of who killed who and provided evidence, yo, they filmed this like music video here that got deleted, by the way, right? Yo, they deleted this music video here where they filming it at this house. And you say, oh, yo, these niggas had beef with Dolph, look at their Facebook, look at the video here, look, look at this. He breaking here. it down, that's what he said. He break the news down. But though, it, and, it, it and, was rumors and, though. I think academics do the same thing, don't yeah. they? All of them do that. Wait though, but we won't consider, again, Ak is a civilian, top-notch civilian. civilian. Y'all said that y'all consider Sko a real nigga. But a real nigga don't mean, a real nigga don't mean, a real nigga don't mean, nah, there's a difference between a street nigga and a real nigga. It's a difference in a street nigga and a real nigga. Wait, wait, all right, look. So. Skull ain't in the streets doing all this sure, you know right? saying, shit like this. Sure. So. so, if I tell on some rap, rap niggas, can I still claim the title as a real nigga? Yeah, you can say it if you want to. Hey, okay. Real, hey, real hey, is perception, really. Hey, real man. is perception. Hey, listen, real is man. Perception, man. I'm the realest nigga ever now, man. Come on now, bro. It's, it's perception. It's perception. Let, let, let me ask you this, man. And, and this, this is real. Like, when you think about the South versus uh, what's going on, on the West Coast, yeah. or the blog and going, I got to ask you this. Mm-hmm. Like, do you consider, like, how do you think about the podcast where when you look at 85 South and all these different, you got so many different ones, man. You know, big facts. You got uh, Real Life here. You got Say Cheese here. You got Boss Talk 101 here. Like, mm. how do you scope? Then you got No Jumper and Vlad yeah. and all y'all. And then the biggest of And then you got talk. academics. And then the you got Trill Talk, talk the No Peel Talk. Yeah. Like, like mm. what do you hey. think about all this stuff? So, listen. Because we didn't have this years ago now. The facts. Now, hey, listen. I fuck with Say Cheese. I love Sean Cotton. He was just on there. But I think Sean don't fuck with me because of Charleston White, right? And here's why. Me and Sean had an interview scheduled. I started, right? And it's supposed to be be like in, on Thursday. Okay. I had beef with like like Charleston White, I think like that Sunday, that Monday. What y'all beefing over? What was it? No, no just like, right? You just go in on it. Yeah, 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 right? And he went at me too, right? So me and Charleston White, you know, and had a little beef. And I don't know if Charleston White for me in a call, call the shot and say, hey, bro, don't fuck that bitch ass nigga. Cause, Cause he said you started a lie on him. No, 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 no. What was the lie? What was the lie? This he was said like, he said he mixed with an animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was yeah, yeah, that's you yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah right? But the, this was like, 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 man, why, why did you say well, that? Well, with the right, right? But me and Sean shit though was like nine months ago though, right? So I think like cause we had a plan on Thursday, me and oh, nine months ago. Yeah, 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 right. So not this Thursday. No, 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 no. Right? And 
And bro, if that was the last time I ever and heard from Sean, bro, I'm I, I like bro, Sean, I fuck with you, bro. Like fuck with me, bro. Like, right, like right, like just tell me, bro. Like yo, man, bro. Like listen, bro. Like Charleston, like does like one million views like per video, my nigga. As, but, hey, listen. Okay, what hey. you what would you do if the shoe was on the other foot? Huh? He go ride. With, he go ride with Adam Twenty Two. I'ma say, say, listen, like, hey, bro, and this nigga here is doing one million views per video for me, nigga. You, I fuck with you now, nigga, but hey, bro, it's business. Cool, bro, I respect it. And, and, and bro, and I still love Sean Cotton. I still say cheese, That's right? my boy. Yeah, right, right, but I'm like, bro, like, just tell me why, you feel me, right? But tell me why, what, when did you, the, the Charleston White thing, is it- He said soon, you feel Cause y'all both. But he mm -hmm. gonna sue yeah, you. You heard that too. Oh, he said okay. he gonna sue you. Yeah, right, sure, right, so, right, so, so look. So one, right, so when I see that, right, I, 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 I'm like, bro, I don't think niggas actually understand like what defamation of character is and what, so look. It gotta right? be true though, though. Well, no, right, so look, right, so look, right, so look. So if I see a fake rumor, right, and I say that fake rumor once, right, again, like, again, like, that's, again, like, that's just me being, like, misled, right? Yeah. Opposed to me coming on air every day and saying that fake rumor and slaring you and defaming you. Now that's a case, right? And then two, you now have to show how my words, what I said once, right? How that has affected your career in a negative manner. Meaning this, Charleston White, the same man and who came on air and said, I don't know, white women. And you mean, like, you mean to like tell me that me reading, uh, I guess a lie that I heard once is more damaging to your career than you saying you white women, man, 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 man. Listen, <laughs> Sue. <laughs> Wait, so did you have proof that he did that? No, right. So look, right, right. So look. So I seen like this title right again. Dude got like booked for like animal cruelty, right? And the headline I seen was he was. You feel me, right? So I came and repeated it. And he said, yo, that's not true. I said, yo, my bad. I retracted. The headline lied to us. I said a lie, nigga. I'm sorry. I retracted. Right? That's all I can do. But don't get a f up thinking, nigga, like you can dangle a sewer over me, nigga, because, bro, you don't know the law, my nigga, right? Like, again, like me saying it once and, and then coming back and retracting it, you now have to prove how me saying it once and telling my audience, yo, I was wrong, I lied. How does that damage your career in a negative manner? Again, more so than your own actions. Meaning, this nigga said Asian babies. He white women, right? And this nigga is telling me that what I said once is more damaging to his career than his own words. Man, out of here, bro. Wow. So, so you 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 ain't willing to sit down and talk with him? Of course I would, right? But though, and. And he has to come, right? Again, this bro as himself, meaning this, right? And he's a scoundrel. He's a street nigga. He's a thug. He's a hooligan, right? He's a hoodlum. This nigga is a nasty street nigga. So like, don't right, so, right? Like so like, don't like come and like, right? So, right? So like, don't come and like act like yo like I'm some like civilian, right? No, right? So like. As long as Charleston White like come right and talk to me, and don't play the play like the you know like the rat character, brother, 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 brother like, we can talk right. But like, I just don't respect him because I feel like everything he does is an act. Meaning, I really tell on niggas, big bro. So I don't respect a nigga who's lying by telling niggas, right? Don't lie and act like a rat. Don't lie and act like you're a civilian. Really be a rat. Really be like us. And he not doing it. So Wow, when you when you look at uh, I I didn't mention Cam Capone. How, how do you, you you watch his stuff? Oh too? oh, I love Cam Capone. That's my boy. Like, like I, I love Cam Capone. Yeah, listen. Yeah. So so right. So look. So I moved to LA and I think in May. And Cam Capone. First of all, stop. Hey, welcome, Miss Jamaica. My wife. Yes. She hit the set. Miss Jamaica. She is always with me. Why, no why? matter what. Y'all need no one there. <laughs> Oh, okay. She's Jamaican. Okay, so, man. So uh, when you uh, wait, now let's go back in. DJ Ice make the rum flow easier. You gonna let me get my visa? <laughs> hey man, hey man, come on now, bro. Hey, listen, man.
free Adi me daddy, man. Free, you feel me, man? Listen, man, listen. Free Vibes Cartel. Mm, and if he's innocent, but if he's guilty, a hundred years. You <laughs> what were we just talking about? I got to go back in on that. Uh, Kim Capone. Yeah, let's go back. Mastermind. Yeah. Dad. You were telling a story. Yeah, no, no, bro. Uh, when you first came to LA. Yeah, right? And he's the and he's the first one who gave me my first like interview. Wow. Mm. Right? So I, I love Kim Capone, man. Like, um, and we were supposed to do, to, to, like, do something again, but then like, you know, like I, I got like caught up, right? For me, right? But bro, um, and he's actually like not white. Like he's actually like I was shocked to see him. Yeah, yeah. I assume like he's like a white guy. Nah, that's my guy. But like, like but, but he's Hispanic. You feel me? So yeah, yeah man, we man? talk. We talk a lot. That's a that's word. A, yeah, that's my guy. Like I'm telling you, certain things people don't realize. But a word. There's certain people I rock with, and that's just the way it is. Uh, who, uh, AD yeah. for sure. You see, uh, yeah, man. I put you on the phone Cat, with him. Right. That's my guy, AD. He comes here. We when the Charles White thing happened. I never met him. Oh, never, okay. never. Uh, that was Big D. That was my boy. Oh, bro. bro. Rest in peace. Bro, that was bro. my guy. Like, he come here a lot. He would record here and stuff. Bro, that broke my heart, bro. Because, mm -hmm. cause, yo, like, like we texting. Feel me? Right? Like, right? Like, feel me setting it up. You feel me? And then, like, I, I like woke up and heard he. I said, bro, how? how? Out of the blue, just like I that. I talked to him the day before, too. That's my guy. Like, 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 we, ever since I started this, he been, yeah. a, he been a guest. You can go watch him if you want to yeah. see his story. You'll see it on Boss Talk, like in full. He yeah, gonna man. talk about his whole run. Is his channel like like going forward or how? I don't, I don't know. I like they I said, haven't I, posted anything called, since. Yeah, uh, yeah, they hadn't posted so anything I since. Know. I would love Damn, to see man. where it's gonna go with it. I mean, yeah. it was just, they're probably it, regrouping. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, oh, they got a lot of lot of stuff going on with that one. But rest in peace to Big D, man. Yeah, That's my guy, man. The way how your personality uh -oh, is, you uh -oh, have. Uh oh, such, you got the Miss Jamaica. No, because yeah. you now. You have Mr. such an outgoing personality. Have you always been like this or you had to grow into this personality? Listen, so like when it comes to like me, right? Like, bro, like I, is I don't understand, like, uh, and it's like a switch, right? Like, for example, like just me like in, in my like real life, mm -hmm. you know, just chilling, bro. Like, I'm actually like an introvert, right? Like Really? I, I don't fuck with too many people. You feel me, right? Like so when even did now, right? For me, when even now it is just me, right? When right. I called AD, he was like, man, you got to do Flaco. I was like, man, he, he changed the schedule on me, man. I say, you yeah. need to call. I, you know him. He's like, he's a good guy. Uh, yeah, so man. When did he, he when said did he was genuine. And I was like, yeah, well, man. get him on the phone. We're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, when yeah, did man. this personality come out then? If you were such if you're such an introvert yeah. um, in your personal life, when did this character or this personality come out of you? Uh, so. And how did it come out of you? Yeah, man. Right. So look, so. I think it comes just out of necessity, right? Right. So, for example, uh, I started YouTube, uh, and after I graduated school, right? Because mm -hmm. my girl at the time, she had graduated, like waited, right? And she had like a bridge program, right? So she was about to be like a pharmacist, and had like I think like a one or two year like training, like right. So I said, "Bruh, I'm working at this bullshit call center job. I'm fucked up, right? Like I'm like in this shitty." Six hundred and fifty dollar a month apartment, fifteen bucks an hour, Bruh, If I don't get my acting order before she finished up that training, nigga, my girl's done, right? <laughs> Gone. So I started, you know, like you know, a channel, right? And at, at, at first, right, bro, like, cause like I had like no personality, I started to like and imitate in academics, right, mm. <laughs> right. And then once I realized, like, bro, like, that's corny, right? I now, like, just, you know, right, like, you know, I and I now, like, just kind of, like, tap into, like, and it's like a mood, right? Like, we're, like, I, like, convince myself, like, I'm talking to, like, my friends, right? And just talk to y'all, like, how, like, you feel me? Like, you know, I talk to, like, Al, right? Right. But, like, and off the camera, though, like, you'll see me, bro, like, I'm just... I'm just not like a you know you know you know you know like a outgoing person. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. You know, no. I'm glad you came on Boss Talk. Now we get now now you now you done something. Yeah, you know man, what I'm saying? Boss Talk One Hundred One. Now you done it. Now fast. Can you sing? Huh? Can you sing? Hell no. <laughs> I'm just curious because Hell I know no. this man no, can because, sing. No, because I I know of people who stutter the way how you stutter, yeah, but they can, they can sing. I didn't no stutter. Listen, listen, Russell. Look, I can listen. So, like when I rap, I don't stutter. When I read, I don't stutter. So you yeah. did, you used to rap or you just tried it? Yeah, bro. Like when I was like eleven years old, bro. You tried like it. I had like some songs, bro. But then like I realized, bro. Like 
And all like, so all of like the rappers that I know, bruh, are broken, fucked up. Yeah. Right, yeah. like, right, like, so like, right, like, here, right, like, so like, me, like, being, being like a, um, a 12 year old kid, right, is either again, like, I can go to school, I can be like a lawyer, a doctor, or anything I want, or, or be a rapidly rap nigga. Yeah. Like, why the fuck would I choose to be a rapper? Let, let me ask you, man, like, like in LA, like, y'all know you done ran into some, how long you been in LA? Uh, about a year and a half now. So about I, a year and yeah, a so, half. Yeah, so like last May. And you came to that thing, and, and but you you did good to get yeah. on uh, one of the biggest platforms in LA mm -hmm. to to be dealing with the the no, the no jumper setup. Like that's that's probably what a lot of people would like to do coming in. Fact. How do you why do you think that Adam chose you to you know rock with like he has? Man, so again, like like this was around the Young Dolph shit, right? Yeah. So at that time, bro, like every video that I was doing was doing like a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand views, right? Yeah. So he peeped like how I'm talking about, bro. Like again, like when like me, bro. Like I have an obsessive personality, right? So like for example, like before content, I was in the gym. I'm talking about I was big, swollen, jacked, right? But then once I start doing content, now I'm now obsessed with doing content. So now you know I'm <laughs> now, right? Let go. Yeah, right. So like when like the young dog thing happened, I think I had like three thousand subs. But when I seen the like young dog videos, was like ticking me up. Yo, I just, I'm talking about, bro, I was doing like five videos a day. So was you a little jealous of my boy at school because he was going so hard and he was nah, moving nah. so fast because a lot of niggas got jealous because nah, how he covered that country. Nah, I don't yeah, really nah, see nah, nobody nah. that can handle it like him. Nobody ain't touching him when it come down to that Who? damn country. H hell no. Nah. Man, school the man. Right. What? Wait, 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 just wait. say no to school. Wait, hold up. Listen, 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 listen. When it comes to the Young Dolph content, I'll be real. Ain't no nigga touch me. Right? What? Listen, no nigga, mean this, right? Right? Listen. Did you what watch you his stuff? Top? Yes. I don't think yeah. he was close. He what? ain't even close to dealing with Sko. Sko got the, the best live podcast he did. He was the first one with the live podcast. Wait, wait, look. Nobody right, so watch touching this. Sko. Listen, look, right? So watch this. Watch the look. See how they hate on Texas? Right, look, right. Oh, he ain't no Texas. Man. He ain't no Texas. <laughs> I had the biggest Young Dolph documentary ever. How many of you? 1.7 million, man. Again, right, so look. Right, he so didn't look, do it live, though. Right, so look. He didn't do it live. I didn't do it live. That's the full the story, listen, though. That's the full story, though. Meaning, like, from the beginning to the end. That's the most impactful documentary that anybody ever did. Meaning this, again. Give Skull his credit, nigga. That I nigga was bad. Skull. When it comes oh, yeah, down to lives and streets. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Listen, <laughs> listen, hey, listen. Like, I was in his chat donating, <laughs> right? You feel me, right? So Sko, I fuck with Sko. I yeah. love Sko. But have you been on there yet? No, man. Why? Uh, Sko, listen, like he don't fuck with me. He, what you do to Sko, man? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah what the nah, hell nah, you do to Sko, bro? <laughs> uh, nothing. Nah, bro. Okay. Nah. You better not be over he there. He fuck with me, bro. You feel me? Yeah, you gotta put him on the show, man. <laughs> nah, yeah, listen, but bro, I fuck with Sko, man, right? But nah, man, listen. Like, and hopefully soon, right? Um, I, I post something though that he, so like, uh, and he commented, I think, uh, during the young trial case, he commented and said, yo, I know that drawer right there. Man, bro, we posted it, man, bro, bro. Like, Skull went viral, man. So, Damn. Uh, I, I thought, bro, like, he went viral, viral. So, man, so yeah, you know? So, so what? I uh, fuck with him. So you, gonna, how long, so, you gonna put your hat down in about another year or two, or you gonna go all the way up five years? You saying in five years, sure. you gonna get out of it? Man, man bro, like, so look, man, so, like, by 30 years old, right? I'm like, again, like, so, as soon as I have kids, basically, right? Right? Like, so, like, for example, you know, and if and in a year I have kids, right? Bro, if, bro, like, bro, like, you know, I'm done with content. You know, uh, if I'm in school, probably right. Like, bro, like again, like I just like can't see right. Like, just me knowing like like what comes with this, right? Like the you know, like the trolls, the attention, the drama, right? I feel like our goal as humans, right, and on Earth, bro, is to you're born, you build up, you know, you know, like build like an income source, find a life partner have kids, raise those kids to be the best possible human beings, right? And then die. Outside of those like six things, bro, like nothing else matters, right? So like for 
me is like the cloud is cool, but like when I die, bro, like I right, like I, I'm trying to be like known for for like raising like the best possible human beings, right? So like I just don't think that like me being you know like a, a quote unquote like YouTuber while raising kids and having like this attention that's negative or positive. I just don't think that that's for me. Let me you know. I more, hold on, hold on. I got to ask him about this. this. Oh, you want to talk about the kids still? Yeah, but they're more negative on the internet than there is positive. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, it's what you make it anyway, though. But let me ask you this, mm -hmm. man. You was over there with Crip Mac. Crip Mac was there. Y'all, you know, I watched y'all yeah. last time because I was on the phone with Crip Mac a lot the first time he went to jail. Yeah, yeah of course. And um, uh, now, you know, I hadn't heard from him, but I'm going to get with, uh, what's her name? Mm-hmm. Um, his the girl Lupe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get with her, but Lupe, yeah. But but like like, are you guys reaching out to him? Do you talk to him anymore? Or you just you cut him out once you go to pro jail? Or sure. did you get him locked up? Nah, man, nah. You show sure? because you nah, know hell you wanted nah. you wanted him once. <laughs> hey, listen, did hell you nah. get Crip Mac locked up? <laughs> hell no. Nah. Ain't that a good question, Trio Talk? <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> that's a damn good question. Did y'all did you go to court with him? Did you, did you, no, to no, court no, with him? no hell no. Did nah. you put him get him out? Did you try to put some money on his bun? No, no. You ain't trying you you just talk to him when he come up there. No, hell no, listen, right? So listen. I can be fake, right? Right? Again, like again, bro, like being fake is just not in my soul, right? Meaning, right, like, I can't fake kick it, I can't fake like it, right? So, right, so here's like, for example, right? So when I met Crit Mac, I embraced him, I hugged him, right? Yeah. I said, bro, I'll fuck with you. And if you need me, hit me or whenever, right? When he fell on the floor, I think you helped him get up. Yeah, 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 right, right. Um, and, and then, like, sometime and after, bro, like, I, I'm seeing, like, these, like, interviews and things of him talking about, you know, I'm a weird, goofy nigga, fuck me, so, you know, so then. Wait, wait, that was after he went to jail? Or before? No, before jail, right? So y'all was seeing each other at the No Jumper, and he was calling you weird and goofy? Yeah, oh, right, oh, yeah, right. But not to your How face. That, not no. to your face. Not to your face, no, only right? online. right. So like, I, I, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, so you see him and you know he was talking about you. You ain't address it, bro. I, I, I just didn't speak to him, right? So right, right, right. Like, and, and like, I guess like, I, I never understood why. Like, again, bro. Like when we met, it was all love. It was cool. Then I seen things later where he's talking shit about me. Where again, bro. Like. Was that when you turned to me? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? That's just to be real. That's just to be real. Hell no. Nah, like, Hell like, nah. like, how did they end up catching him and you 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 just proclaimed on here that you, yeah, man. you hey, be listen. snitching on niggas and telling nah, on man. niggas and giving niggas up? Hell no. Nah. Okay, <laughs> well, how, okay yeah. how did he get busted? Uh, like they pulled him over and they had and he had like a gun in the car. How did they know he had a car and what car he was in? That's it. I don't know, right? But there was like five people. You just there with showed him. me a text to the detective. <laughs> yeah, you got a hotline like to the FBI. <laughs> like a punch like that, of course. How right? do you pick and choose who you snitch on? Oh, ah, here we go. This boss talk now. Oh, 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 thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so one, outside of being fearless, I'm right. So I'm damn sure ain't ratting on no LA nigga, <laughs> right? Oh, so you're rat on the Texas nigga, but Texas, Atlanta, oh, and and LA, New York. If you come with right, me, you gonna tell it. Listen, if they come with me, right? Meaning this, right? If you do crime, bro, just do crime and don't go flaco. Because if I know that you do crime, and I know that yo, brother, oh, you. Boss talk, and I know that you got some beef in the city, and you have to hold a gun on you, and and, and, and like you come in here. Oh, hey yo, boss, hey yo, popo, punch me. Dev is doing an interview with Boss Talk. He got a pipe on him. And you <laughs> hey, gonna try and get him locked up? Hey, li listen, try, listen, listen. So Dev got arrested like uh, five months ago. But even if you're not from LA, people have connections in LA, so they can still come and get you. Hey. Listen, I don't fear no rapidy rap nigga. Mean this, right? All rappers are all, oh, every single one, every single one. And here's right, and here's why. When I think about a gangster, right, is a motherfucker who listen, ain't nothing gonna stop me from pushing my line, but right? You know, North Dakota, right? 
Oh, ain't no gangsters in North Dakota. Hell, hell, shit, hell, 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 now you wrong, what you mean? What, listen, there's like gangs up there, Chicago niggas up there, mobs up there, yeah, no, 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 it gets busy up there, right, but we'll wait till right, but look. Do you really think I'm gonna sit here and really believe that there's gangsters oh, yeah. in Dakota? But that you, you in Texas, you know what I'm of saying? Of course. So oh, you, yeah, you look. Look. do you know that it's gangsters everywhere you go. Of you course. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 fact, so, yeah. so therefore you gotta you you gotta be careful on who you speak on because you speak on the wrong nigga. You traveling around this on yourself. Of course. So well, you right. gotta be careful what you say about niggas who you telling on and you spreading around here campaigning a whole oh. trail of, of, yeah. of podcasts and all that mm-hmm. other stuff. You really 25. Yeah. Cause the 25 year old nigga gonna say something like that cause he, you don't know it's bad for you. I here when you just traveling of course and you don't know who you going to see of course you got to be careful listen um and here's why i fear no rapidly rap nigga right and and, and it, it just me personally i think they all hoes mm-hmm. right i think all these niggas is some is some sissify hoe ass niggas and here's why right when i think about gangster i think about that nigga and who go to court the judge look him in in his eyes and say yo 140 years plus 300 and that nigga looked at judge and say, fuck you, I ain't gonna do it all in any way, right? And walks off. But not no rap nigga who do three, bro, again, and who gets three years? And his first month in jail, he's online talking about I'm Muslim now. He's online talking about, bruh, the streets ain't it, man, kids who better. Bruh, niggas is hoes, I didn't do, bro. Like, listen, bro, like, once you got something to lose, I don't respect you. And here's what I mean, right? If you a rap nigga, nigga, you a rapper. That career gonna count first, meaning this, right? Like, these niggas got too much to lose to be gangster, meaning, bro, these niggas ain't pulling that gun themselves, bro. These niggas is paying niggas to do it for them, meaning this, right? Bro, these niggas said that Lil Boosie is the most gangster nigga ever. I said how? Boosie paid a 15-year-old boy to kill seven niggas for him. That's gangster? No. Allegedly. You have proof? He got found not guilty. Sure. Allegedly. Yeah. So, wait the right, right? So, and, okay. And it's allegedly, right? But the street niggas will say, yo, he's gangster because this happened. So, either he didn't do it or he's gangster and he did do it, right? So, if they're saying he's gangster because of this, and I'm, I'm saying, bruh, we ain't never respect no nigga who just got money and, and pay niggas do shit. No. Like, there's a different level of respect that comes with you having a boss to look a nigga in his eyes, pull that gun and, and take his life. Mm. No rap nigga doing that, man. What you say about that dude who jumped over the um, judge's pier to tackle her? Listen, I'm going to be real, bro. Oh, he a real nigga. Hey. Yeah, I was trying to, because you, you mentioned Give him court. life. <laughs> Give him life. And here's what I mean, bro, right? Now... Once you a street nigga and you have evolved to a point where, you, bro, like you don't even fear like the white man no more, right? It can mean this, right? Like, if you have evolved to a point in, in your street nigga shit, if the nigga tree has, has like, ha, ha, has like consumed your entire fabric and mitochondria, that you as a raggy, nappy rap nigga in the street nigga don't fear authority no more, that you have the nerve and the audacity and the gall to jump over a, a, a fucking bench and attack a sitting judge. That means, bro, like, you are at a point right now, bro, where you don't give a fuck about nothing. But that's supposed to be gangster. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, heads, bro, give him life. Yes, he's gangster, give him life. He gangster, because he probably yeah, he gangster, give him life. He probably know he was going to get a lot of time. Huh? For hitting the judge. Give that nigga, listen, if you're at a point in your nigga tree where you don't even fear the authority no more, Nigga, why the fuck would I want you out? He might have been going through. Man, hell nah, niggas. <laughs> hell nah, niggas gonna do shit. No, I, 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 hell like nah. I, said, I think I, I think the one thing I can say is, man, y'all got a hell of an operation up there at that no jumper set up. Facts. I ain't never seen uh, so many black dudes in one spot with one white guy mm-hmm. gang banging. <laughs> he cracking the whip. <laughs> Trill talk no bitch. I say crack. <laughs> <laughs> cracking that I got a wood. question. No, because sure. um, so you heard about what happened in Miami. Yeah, right. Like, like, listen, listen, bro. Listen. Do you believe in aliens? Hey, bro, I listen. heard that here recently. No, listen. And that's the prime example, bro, of why I don't trust niggas, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the one guy, and who, like, so, and he was the one who won, right? Like, who kind of like confirmed it 
and like created this mass hysteria, right? Mm -hmm. It's some face tattoo light skin who came and said, yo, man, I was there like with my girl. I heard shots. I looked and seen these 10 foot aliens, blah, blah, right? He told the whole story, three minutes, right? Bruh, I learned, bruh, this blue, purple, wild lip, pink lip mother, right? He came back when and said, nah, I was just Captain, Captain, Captain bruh, for man. <laughs> like, 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 come on, bro. Listen, bro, only is do something like that, bro. Only us. But let me ask you a question, though. Sure. If that was true or possible, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't you think that the government would have covered it up so quick and probably paid him some money to say recanted and all of that, just to hide all of that? Sure, or look, why would aliens choose to go to Miami-Dade County? <laughs> why? Where? Why? Why? To like see some Man, come on, my name. Man, come on, We don't bro. know why. Man, hey, hey, listen, I, listen. I can almost guarantee you, if aliens come, the first people they'll want to see is the good white man in up in Oklahoma, bro. Why Oklahoma? Good, strong, you know, real morally intact white men. Now, if you're telling me that aliens is trying to come to Miami-Dade County to see wicks and gold teeth for some blue, purple, pink, hell nah, bro. It's obviously cap. They're close to the Bermuda Triangle. That's why they can't. Have you ever, you really, I be looking at stuff. You. He's smart. Have you and 16 shot ever, y'all ever spoke again? Who? The guy who spit on you. Listen, right? That's perfect, right? Y'all, perfect. you forgave him? No, for, no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, right, right? So look, right? So look, right? So like, uh, so, and he convinced, so, hey, right? So, hey, right? So first thing is this, right? Do, do, after he spit on, do you think other <laughs> felt like they could come in there and just spit on you too? No, hell nah. I'm just saying, you let nigga spit on you up there. Nothing, he missed though. He didn't even try. Huh? He shouldn't even try. You, but I tried too, though. I'm like, <laughs> you feel me? Right, so, wait, 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 though, right, right? Wait, though, right? So look, though, right? So, so look, now look. So, now, a street spitting to me is a hate crime. Can you imagine, like, the Reggie Phil Salava? Listen, it, 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 it's Reggie, per 30, lean. All mixed together, that's death. Bro, listen, a uh, street of lava is it, it, like acid, my nigga. Right? So, so one, I don't f that shit, right? Two, right, is it, this. So, this street had the most vile concoction of Reggie, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of lean, of perk 30, of acid, of zaza, of gas, all mixed together, and was trying to spit on me, mm. but he missed. Now, I spat back, but yo, I'm not no Did you hit? No, I missed too, right? But though, again, I always live by the principle of won't no nappy trick me out of my position, right? Again, this is my first two months at the good white man job. Adam has entrusted me to have a job there, right? So what I said, said right this, right? did you get this good white man concept that you keep coming up with? It really annoys me. I really uh, don't, uh, I, the good white man yeah, thing. I, you're in the South, you yes. know what I'm saying? And and, yes. and 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 you would think that we, being in the South, mm -hmm. would be the ones that would be so Hell no. caught up with the white man. We, we, we different than y'all. You calling this yeah. man, do y'all yeah. y'all call him the good white man? No, listen, right, right. Do everybody that walk in there, no, black look. guys, is that one of the qualifications to be on no job <laughs> is to call him the good white man? No, but though, I identify a white devil from a good white man, right? And so no good black man? Huh? <laughs> sure. Sure. Me, him, <laughs> I'm assuming you, but, but, but <laughs> right, right? You probably don't call me no good. <laughs> right? No, right? No, right, no, hey, right, no, right, no, right, no, but right. So look, and he, he spat I, I spat back and like 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 uh you know, like we like you know, like we like both I like missed, right? But um I ain't never gonna let no nappy nigga trip me. Right, like in off the streets, right, or out of my job. Again, mm -hmm. I'm used to this being a corporate world. Again, and mind you, this was the first instance of any type of like violence going on there, right? So I was was like the first example of it, right? So I thought, okay, in, in any like corporate world, if the situation is like is squashed and, and, and like diffused, 
and you pop off, nigga, you, you get fired, right? So I said, the only way I could put hands on him is by asking, yo, bro, right, let's go outside and fight. You feel me, right? And so I asked, hey, bro, we, again, bro, like, we don't need to do his hair, right? Again, bro, like, again, bro, like, um, you know, like, there's cameras, computers, here, whatever, bro, like, let's not even do it here, right? Let's go outside and fight. And he told AD this, Josh this, and, right? And, like, X AD, nah, bro, I'm not even on that, man, right? And AD confirmed it, right? So he did that for the cameras. And as soon as the camera and stopped running, and he, he said, Nah, bro, I'm not even on that, right? Two, I seen him uh, at a party at NLA. I asked him, like, what you want? Mm -hmm. And this bitch ass nigga said, nah, like, what's up, bro, man? Right, right? Like, so like, at some point, right, it's like, I don't have like no energy for Nappy niggas, raggy niggas like him. Meaning this, right? Dude started off with a popping YouTube channel. It's been a year. He's stagnant. I see no growth in the thumbnails, like production, the quality. I ain't seen not one change. This nappy nigga been eating his butter biscuits and chilling with the money and making not no improvement, right? Mm. So if I see a nigga who, who like clearly ain't going nowhere, hey nigga, leave them raggy niggas alone. Don't engage in the racket. Leave, leave them alone, nigga. Hey, hey, hey. You are crashed on me? You got it, nigga, right? You feel me? But hey, listen. Uh, 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 like like him or like dudes like him, bro. Listen, bro. I don't see him like living long, right? Like he's a crash dummy, right? So like if you're on a, 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 a crash out path, nigga, bro, do you. You feel me? And I'm good. Let me ask you a question. I, I, I want to go here one time. With you. Yeah. Do you even believe there is a God? Yeah, of course. I know no jump, but I don't believe in God. Uh, yeah, uh, and he's an so atheist. He's an atheist. Yeah. Um, do you believe in moral standards up there, or do you guys? Because you guys, y'all do a little, of course, a little bit sext in here, sex here. <laughs> people get people sure. wives, and you know, and they all trading up and yeah, taking right. and giving and punching and whatever. Like yeah, right, like, but this, though, right? Huh? I asked him, would he hit Adam 22 wife? No, hell no. Listen, listen, I don't Why listen. are you blushing? Listen, hell no. Why are you blushing when the man asks you that? I don't f white women. Okay, okay. You don't f good white women. I don't f white women. <laughs> you know I mean? The devil's not a good one. I don't f them, right? But to the right. I mean, I was asking about God because I, I really, yeah. I was really like, okay, how do you guys maneuver around there like yeah, that? Yeah, Russell, look, Russell, look, though, Russell, look, here, look, like. Do you do you believe there's laws and standards and integrity? Sure, right, sure. Because you, you you helping the laws, but I'm trying to yeah. figure out what basis you're going on. Yeah, right. But right, but though, right. So if people confuse morals and ethics, right? Meaning your moral code is your individual moral compass. Meaning this, right? Like what I consider intact morals, you don't think so, and you don't think so, right? So. Because I believe that morals is individualistic, ethics isn't, right? But morals is individualistic. So if I have my set of moral code and he has his, who am I to tell him that mine is superior to his, you know? What what made you come to, to Texas? What was the thing that drove you? Like, I gotta go down to Dallas. Oh, uh, bro, like, bro, like, I, I had like three, like, bro, like, uh, so um, Spade hit me, Real life production hit me, and Dallas like, and I think it's called like Dallas Global hit me, Dallas right? Global Terry Blue. Yeah, Shout right. Out. He called me about you as well. Yeah, a word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So I say, yo, listen. I had to bro. run a background check on you. I called my guy. <laughs> yeah, right. I, yeah, I called my guy. My guy tell me, okay, he good. I said, okay, he good. Yeah, right. So for me, it's like, bro, like, um, I just had like so many like and invites and dope opportunities, right? I, I said, yo, feel me, you know, like, why not, you know? Yeah, it, it definitely helps to, you know, push you through the algorithm and get more and more people to know who uh, this guest on No Jumper is. Yeah, Blocker, and where that name come from? Bro, listen, man, uh, there was this pretty black man called ASAP Rocky. What the hell, and man? his See, name was Pretty is, Flacco. Uh, huh? No, his name was Pretty Flacco. Okay. Right, right, yeah. again, 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 no. Again, I call him Pretty, and he called himself Pretty. He says, my name is Pretty Flacco. So I took that pretty flocko, and at that time I was trying to rap like 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 eleven, twelve, and said, "Okay, 
I'm poetic, so I'm poetic flocker, right? But at that particular time, bro, every dark skin was was like calling himself a pretty. What kind of rap lyrics did you use to do when you did? Give me a give me a little spiel of it. Yeah, Bruh. just eight bars. Give me eight bars. Bruh, I don't remember. Bro, come like, on, man. Get eight bars. You scared? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. You, know, you it. Must have been pretty bad. Huh? <laughs> yes. No. 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 <laughs> listen. Listen, bro. Like they were horrible. That, that's why you don't Who's remember. You try to rapper? forget. Huh? Who's he don't favorite? like rappers. He gonna turn all of me. Who's your favorite rapper? Now. I used to like Drake, and then Drake started talking that gang so now it's that nigga. I used to fuck with J. Cole, then J. Cole started talking about like these rappers see me, and they see like, like see like the face of death. Now it's that nigga too, right? Cause that's talking, right, right, feel me, right, again, cause now, cause again, these niggas had a clear lean, a, 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 a clear niche, and they start hanging around with 21 Savage, and now, now like they corrupted too. So I'll be real, my favorite rapper, it's like probably like, you know, um it's probably like Kirk Franklin. Um uh, yeah, six nine used to be over there with y'all. Oh. Probably that's probably your favorite. Oh, listen, bro, I love that six nine, man. That's man. your boy. Hey, listen up, bro. Listen. When I see how that tricked at least like six <laughs> off the streets. Are you serious? I said real n man. Are <laughs> you serious? Hey, listen, big bro. If these are dumb enough, right, to invite this purple haired Mexican to a block and join their brotherhood, they blots, and them deserve what they deserve? Hell nah, bro. Listen, I have no sympathy. Again, if them right, invited, uh, again, are you coming back? Right? Again, a five foot five leprechaun Mexican to the hood, and they put them on because they were some starving. Who ain't want to get a job? They sold out their principles and put on a leprechaun Mexican to 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 like they hood, and, and these dumb even took instructions from that Mexican to do some crowns for them, bro. They deserve everything they got. And you ride with him. You in the car with him now? If he come pick you up, hell nah. So nah, nah, you, nah, nah, nah. So you with mass incarceration? No. No meaning this, right? Meaning this, right? Um, so now there was a point, right? Like, right, like, like, right, like, we're like, like, we're like three grams of weed, you know, like, like three strikes doing life. That's wrong. But if you telling me that if a dude shot somebody on his first time and the judge could choose between five years or 50. I'm saying there's no excuse for no n to pull out a gun, look a n in his eyes, and pull that trigger knowing you can take his life and you did it, you a demon. And at that point, I don't think there's any retribution for you. Do your time, don't cry to us, my n So again, that's incarceration, but hold n accountable. Wow, you, you, and, uh, you and Sharp, that that, that y'all y'all always work together well. You gotta like I said, the squad is the squad is yeah, really come on now, bro. My watch out though. I, I think I you get guys. Some real oh, my watch mm -hmm. out though. Y'all doing a great job, man. Keep on doing the podcast thing. You know, it's really it's a different world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, man, thank you, man, for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you, Flacco? Man, hey, hey, uh, when this drop, listen, I think it's gonna go viral. <laughs> I think that we talk some good here. Yo, we for sure. You feel me? But it's Poetic Flacco and on YouTube, you feel me? On Instagram is Poetic Flacco. On Twitter is Flacco Poetic. You feel me? Because some took my username, right? But it's Flacco Poetic, man. But yeah, and listen up, man. For everybody, I'm a nice guy, man. I just believe that people, especially should be held accountable for everything they do. You feel and me? white people. I think you said that. You just say that because they your people, so you hold them a little yeah. more high standard. So you do think white people need to be locked up too? Listen, white man, listen, I don't care what they do to, you, to, you feel me, right? the white man. This affect people around me, meaning, right, I have aunties who got to walk to the park in the hood right now, right? right? I'm not up there to where I can take everybody out. Right? Yeah, but but you say you say that about the white man, but you you answer to the white man every day. Huh. Yeah.
Yeah, you, you work. No jumper. Yeah, you work. You you work. If he cut you off right now, you huh? you screwed. If if he, you, I'm there four days a week. Right, 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 right. So hey, right. So look. So uh, so again. So it's four out of seven days. Answer to the white man. Wow, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. Thank you. Blocko, man. Hey, it's much love. We love you, bro. Hey, man. Appreciate your trio talk for setting in on this one. This one was a good one, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk.